So we have question number 36 on page 330 of the review of the second review package. A steel ball of mass 0 0.5 kilograms moving with a velocity of 2.0 meters per second strikes a second ball, M2, of 0 0.30 kilograms, initially at rest. <clears throat> the collision is a glancing one, causing the first ball to be deflected by an angle of 30 degrees. Unfortunately, the problem does not say which side so I'm going to assume that it's to the right. So V1 prime will be 1.5 meters per second, and it will be forward 30 degrees to the right. We are trying to find V2 prime, we'll need to know the speed and the direction of the second mass after the collision. So the vector diagram for this, we do need some coordinates, some axes. So we'll call this direction forward, this direction back, and then right and left on either side. So initially M1 is moving forward. It strikes ball M2 and then moves off at a 30 degree angle So if we continue the forward direction here, this is the angle that's 30 degrees. And we expect M2 to go off something like that direction. <clears throat> so this is the collision that's similar to the experiment that we did in class. Now the way to solve the problem is to look at conservation of momentum and we need to do it for the two components separately. So we need to look at the forward component of the momentum for each of the objects and momentum will be conserved for the forward components. So for the conservation of momentum, we would like the momentum of object 1 before the collision plus 0 for the momentum of the second object equal to the momentum of the first object plus after the collision plus the momentum of the second object after the collision. And we're going to do this in the forward direction for each of them. So before the collision, it will simply be M1, V1, because that's all in the forward direction. After the collision, we'll need to take M1 and the forward component of the um, vector. So looking back at our diagram, <clears throat> we want to break this vector into two components, a forward component and a rightward component. The forward component is adjacent to the angle, so we'll use the cosine of the angle in calculating the value. So this will be V1 
prime cos theta 1. <clears throat> and the P2, similarly, will be M2. And we want the B2 prime forward component. <clears throat> but I'm going to leave that without using the angles in here because that's the unknown and we'll need to calculate that. So now we want to solve for this in our equation. So we'll have to subtract this item from this and then divide by M2. So we will get B2F prime is equal to M1V1, the original momentum, minus the forward component of the momentum of the first ball after the collision, all of it divided by M2. So that's the equation for the uh, forward component of the momentum of the second ball. And we will have to do a similar job. We'll have to do conservation of momentum. So before the collision, there is no movement to the left or right. So we'll have zero momentum before the collision in the left-right direction. And that's going to be equal to, and let's assume the right is positive, the momentum of object one after the collision in the rightward direction plus the momentum of object two in the rightward direction. <clears throat> but of course we've seen from our diagram here that M2 is moving to the left afterwards. So it will actually have a negative rightward momentum, which is the same thing as leftward. So P2 to the left is going to be e prime, is going to be equal to P1R prime. This will be M2 V2 prime leftward and that will be equal to M1 B1 prime to the right is going to be opposite the angle and so it will be sine theta 1 and finally we'll have to divide both sides by M2. So the leftward component of velocity 2 after the collision is going to be M1 V1 prime sine theta divided by M2. <clears throat> now we have to put some numbers into the equation. So we have our given information here. So this will be equal to 0 0.50 for the mass times 1.5 meters per second for the velocity afterwards, 30 degrees divided by 0 0.30. Put up the calculator and I get V2 L prime is 1.25 meters per second. <clears throat> In the forward back direction, we're going to have M1 0 0.50 
times the initial velocity, 2.0 meters per second, minus 0 0.50 times 1.5 cosine of 30 degrees divided by 0 0.3. <coughs> So now we have our two components of the final velocity of object 2 and we can start putting it back together into a magnitude and direction. The two things we always do for combining components, we will use the magnitude of V2 prime is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the squares. So this will be e2 prime forward squared plus v2 left prime squared, which is 1.711 meters per second. <clears throat> For the angle, we now have to think about the components of this second movement here. It will have a forward component this way and a leftward component that way. So if we want to find the angle here, theta 2, we need the opposite over the adjacent. So the leftward divided by the forward components. So the tangent the inverse tangent of 1.25 divided by 1.1683 is 46.935 degrees. We'll put that together, we'll get a velocity of 1.7 meters per second forward and the 46.93 will round off to 47 degrees to the left. And that's the final velocity of the second ball.